Welcome to the youth message portion of the service. Worship is something we do when we come to church or when we go to church online via YouTube. I am sure you have heard the minister say, come, let us worship. You've probably sung a song that had the word worship in the lyrics. Today we're reading from Romans and a verse that caught my eye was Romans chapter 12, verse 1. And it reads, I appeal to you, therefore, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. The word worship has the word ship at the end. And for a moment, I want you to think of worship as we offer our ship to God. Have you ever been in a boat? Maybe it was a little boat on a lake or perhaps a bigger boat for water skiing or tubing. I imagine some of you have taken a holiday on a large cruise ship. And maybe you've even traveled from one country to another on an ocean liner like the Titanic, but not the Titanic. No matter what size of the boat, they won't go anywhere without fuel in the tank. No fuel, no zoom. No zoom means you're floating and you're at the mercy of the wind and the waves to take you in any direction. All boats, large or small, need fuel. And they need a pilot in order for the boat to do and go where it was designed to go and the function it was designed to carry out. Whether it's zipping across the lake or moving people across the globe, all boats need fuel and a pilot. You are like a ship. When we come to worship, whether it's online or in person, we offer our ships to God. As we worship, our hearts are filled with God's love our minds take in the new Bible learning and we are filled with the spiritual fuel so we can move with direction and purpose and not be afloat or adrift. When we allow Jesus to be our pilot, we move in the direction that keeps us from shipwrecks or disasters. So as this service continues, keep offering your ship to God as we pray, sing, and listen to God's word. Let God fill you up. Until next week, God remembers you, God hears your prayers, and he loves you very much.